Okay, so again, we're gonna do our mastery check today over this stuff, so I need you paying attention, okay? Um, what kind of quadrilateral is A, B, C, D? What is this shape? Y'all know? It's not a square, it's not a rectangle. It's not a trapezoid. This is going to be called a parallelogram. Do you remember that word? Yeah, it might be a while since you saw that. Okay, so parallelogram. Parallelograms have opposite sides are equal. Okay, opposite sides are equal. Um, In geometry, in geometry, these little hash marks, this means that these two things are exactly the same. If they have two lines, these two things are exactly the same. Okay. That's for a fancy word meaning congruent. Congruent means exact same. Okay. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is we're going to find the distance between these. Okay. So you're going to find the distance between A, D, B, C, A, B, and D, C. Okay, so let's go ahead and label these points. So this is going to be 11, 6. This is going to be 10, 1. This is going to be 5, 4. And 4, negative 2. Can you find the distance between all these different sides? Okay, so from A to B, we're going to do the distance, and that's going to be 10 minus 4 squared plus 1 minus negative 2, which will be positive 2 squared. If we simplify that, that's going to give us 36 plus 9, which will give us the square root of 5, 45. Let's find DC, um, and I did make a mistake on this one. This should be 11, 7. Apologize. Okay, on this one, we're going to get 11 minus 5 plus 7 minus 4. And that'll also give us the square root of 45. Notice how we got the exact same numbers on opposite sides. All right, so I got square root of 37 for both. Is that what you got? Okay, so since the opposite sides are equal, that's part of proving that it's a parallelogram. Now, you could also do a couple other things. Um, we're going to learn about properties of parallelograms and actual geometry, but we're not going to go into that right now. We're just really focused on the distance. <clears throat> so I want to help you find the distance. Um, so we're on part D. We're finding the area, but you have to find the distance of all the different sides first. So from E to G, we're going to find the distance. So we're going to do 3 minus negative 7, which will give me plus 7 squared, plus 5 minus 0 squared. So that's going to give me 10 squared, which is 100, 5 squared, which is 25. So this will give me the square root of 125. Now you could simplify that. And I probably would suggest doing that in your yellow calculator, okay? We're going to find the distance for FG. And that's going to give me 3 minus negative 1 and 5 minus 8. When I simplify that, that's going to give me 16 and 9. That's going to give me the square root of 25, which is just 5. So we got 5 over here. And then we got the square root of 125 here. You can. I'm just going to leave it right now. All right. And then EF. So that's going to give me negative 1 minus negative 7 squared plus 8 minus 0 squared. So that's going to give me 6 squared, which is 36, 8 squared, which is 64. And that's the square root of 100, which is 10. Okay, so all I've done is I found the distance. On your mastery check, there are two questions. It's going to be about a triangle, so it's going to look just like this. And it's going to ask, what is the perimeter? 
And then it's going to ask, what is the area? Those are the two questions. Perimeter is what? You add up all the sides. So I would add 10 plus 5 plus square root of 125. Yep. Because in the formula, it has subtraction. Because subtracting a negative makes it positive. Subtracting a negative number would make it positive. Subtracting a negative would make it a plus. Negative negative makes it a plus. Um, All right, Sebastian, what? Yeah. Yeah. You would have gotten 15 plus the square root of 125, and then it probably made you simplify 125, which is going to give you 15 plus, what was it? Uh, five. five square root of five. So that would have been my final answer. Yeah. Six. Plus five square root of five. Okay. Now, area. What is the area of a triangle? Mm, what's the formula? Okay. So one half base times height. They expect you to know this. They don't give you this formula. Let me say that again. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. They do not give you this formula. I'm not going to write it on the board. One half base times height. Okay. So base is five. Height is ten. Okay. Base is five. Height is ten. You're not going to use the square root of 125 for the area. You're going to leave them off. So you're going to do 1 half times 5 times 10, and that's going to give us 25. This is your mastery check. We find the distance of all the sides. We add them all up. We find the area. Must know 1 half base times height. Cool? I don't think we're going to have time. Thing with the area, this is the hypotenuse. So base is the bottom of the triangle, height is the side of the triangle. Don't use the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side. It's also across from like this little corner piece. Does everybody understand? 